computer. All right, this is our BIB club. This is, wow, November 16th already. And we are doing the subject tonight of tell a powerful story. So I'm hoping that everybody read the two stories in the BIB book and the more build it big book. Um, because I just pulled out some things from there. We're not going to go through that like we normally would do with our other lessons, because I think it's going to be more beneficial for everyone tonight if we start with some of the key things about your story. And then I think we should go through whatever story you have started or created. And I did, I showed you guys earlier, I've been writing some stories on here as I read that. And um, so let, let's first uh, begin with, the key thing is your story, your story should be one to two minutes is all. So that's a short story because it's important for what ratio? It's the same ratio we all know. 80-20. 80-20. Yes. So we want to listen 80% and only talk 20%. So some spellbinding story facts that I wrote down <laughs> is start with a real life situation. That's number one. Blend of realism and unyielding optimism. Reveal your immense passion for the products or surface services you offer and make an irresistible offer at the end. Okay. The beginning is where, when you started, where you are today, what you love about the products and your team or whatever how it has affected your life, hopes, and dreams. And it also pointed out in one of the stories, um, and you guys are going to be some doing some talking because I'm a little dry tonight. Um, stocking your library with... Not me, I got my wine. <laughs> stocking your library with many stories. What story can you use for what situation? Okay, so think about that. Then collect the correct stories. What appeals to me? Practice and ask for feedback from the person that you're sharing the story with. I love with. that part. Yes, I love that part too. So. Because it's something I've never done. No, I haven't either. Neither so have I. Got I mean, something. usually they'll just say, oh my gosh, it's a wonderful story. So glad you could be home with your child. I mean, you usually just get an immediate response to your story. So I've never said, well, hey, you know, and I won't probably do it right away. But down the line, when they become a recruit and they become a representative and we got that bond and friendship, that's where I'm going to say, hey, you know what? When you first joined, I shared my story with you. Share with me what you feel I could have tweaked there because we're going to work on your story. And then we're going to work together on how, um, you know, we can get your story together and how could I tweak mine? Or what did, what did you benefit from my story or what was the best um, information that you got out of it? What was the most touching part of my story? Right. And um, kind of implement right. that in. So that was a good good tip that I was know. in there that I, I liked. Both, both little sections were really interesting and made me really think about this. So who wants to start with their story? And and then we're we're not going to criticize your story, but we're going to offer positive um, suggestions and feedback and, and everything. And we're going to time. I'm going to wa watch the time. I'll start. I'll start it just so I can be done with it. <laughs> okay. Get her done. Okay. Well, when I've got written down on my, on my post-it notes on my desk, I'm still accumulating everything together, but I'm making multiple stories out of it, like the book suggests. <laughs> Um, my story is simple. Started out joining Avon just because I was running out of items that I was buying for my mother. I couldn't buy them anymore because she passed away. That's the first reason. 
<laughs> okay, once I joined Avon, I started seeing the benefits. Uh, first thing that I purchased is something that I've been wanting was the Echo Dot. Okay, well, as my business was growing, that Echo Dot has now turned my home into the only smart trailer in the whole trailer park. <laughs> okay, so I love that too. I can tell by voice now, I can turn things off and on. Okay, financially wise, for the ones that are more concerned about financial, um, it was my Avon earnings that paid for my very first trip to convention in 2018. That cost me $1,100 to do. Um, and then it also, same year, paid for an $850 water heater installation. So you do the math, that's almost $2,100. Okay. Of Avon earnings. That if it wasn't for those earnings, I would not have been able to pay for either one of those. Okay. Is this what you tell your new recruits? Huh? Is this what you tell your potential recruits? What's that? Is this what you tell your potential recruit? Okay, everybody froze up. <laughs> That's she said. Is this what you tell your profession? Uh, a protect, prot potential. <laughs> Actually, it depends on what the. Uh, it depends on the what's what, uh, who I'm talking to. Okay, you know because. But if I'm talking to them, that's like, say, for instance, my newest team member, Stacy, she's a stay at home mom because somebody has to be, and her, her thing was more financial. You know, so I started talking about how I started talking, tell letting her know that everything in the brochure she gets a discount on, you know, for being a rep. And then I told her, I said, as you're building your customer base, you're going to start earning money. And I, I said, and then that's why I told her of what kind of money you earned. That for her, I used my Rep Fest 2018 that my earnings paid for and that water heater. Okay. I would not have been able to pay for either okay. one of them without now my I'm gonna, earnings. I'm going to interrupt and stop a little bit, uh, Roger. I got your beginning to your story. Uh, you know how how you got started, why you got started. But I didn't catch a closing or kind of a make an irresistible offer. So how could we? Okay, my. I don't know. I don't know how much of my story you actually heard, Dan. Because, like I said, the closing option of it is simple. As actually, I didn't get to give it close because I got interrupted by Flo. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and on and on and on. And I, I, I was waiting <laughs> to see the look on Flo's face. <laughs> but no, um, the, the the closing of it, yeah, your ears is the is fact that off. now because of my Avon business, huh? I was just saying your irresistible what? offer we're waiting for. Uh, irresistible offer is the fact that because of my Avon business, um, I'm unable to work. That's which is why I joined Avon because then it gives me the feeling that I'm contributing to the community instead of just living off of the government. Okay. You know, and that's- Now, now I know you covered, you covered a lot of inter information in there. Hold it, on. It, okay. It did go over two minutes. So we got to have more of us- uh, I know, I'm still, I'm still tweaking it. Yeah, flowing story that you just take it out and end it, and then let them talk, right? See, so that's, why I'm, that's why I'm telling you everything all at once. That's why it was more yeah. than two minutes. But okay. when they, if they want to know the benefits of being an Avon rep, my closing other part, that because especially if they're animal lovers, this is the one that usually grabs them. I said, I would tell because of Avon, my dogs are no longer eating cheap, unhealthy dog food. They are getting their food. <laughs> They're getting better grade dog food. So are my cats get better grade cat food. So yeah. So, an animal lover would like to hear that, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. See, everything's on my desk on post-its. I have to create my extras, my little stories for each one, which will make it less than two minutes. Yeah. And then practice that so that it just so, flows. But yeah, that's and then yeah. Okay. Who else wants to share? I'll go next. Okay. So I don't have to be last. 
All right, so now don't laugh at me because I, mean, I kind of oh. hinted at it earlier. So I wrote everything down, so I'm going to read it right off the page. It says, when I first started with Avon, I did it because I couldn't find an Avon rep, so I decided to be one. Getting what I wanted at a discount was great, but after a while, I wanted to share it with other people, so I got brochures, and I showed it to my friends and family. I was starting to make enough money to get my favorite products for free and some spending money on the side. And I got so excited because now I'm earning trips. I'm building a team of people who love their job and love the, being their own boss, just like I do. Avon has training benefits and everything I need to be successful. And they didn't leave me on my own. Everything was right there for me to find and learn. And you can do this too. Okay. Okay. Any okay. suggestions? So tell me now. <laughs> Every, any suggestions? I think I it was like that flow. On. Like I said, I like that flow, but I'm still tweaking my stories. Because okay. according to what I was reading, you should have more than one. <laughs> you yes. know, it just depends on who you're talking to. Right, right. So I told you everything all at once. That's why it took more than two minutes. So okay. I've got to tweak them out. But yeah, I like flow the way Flo said that because it's true. Our our earnings get us our favorite products for free. Mm-hmm. That's when why they I hear did that, it. that's gonna be like, wow. And that, and that's, I mean, does that, would that in, it create excitement in someone that you were telling that to? Does it, does it stir an interest? Does it create excitement? What do you think? I think you would. Everybody loves free Avon. Everybody loves free because they must love Avon if they started, right? Yep. Okay. Who's next? I'll go next if okay. nobody else. Wants go to. ahead, Melina. Okay, so I'm gonna make this super quick. I hope. <laughs> um, so where, uh, so where I started? So I started because I wanted to be um, with a company that was well for women and a few good men, as we all remember. I looked between Mary Kay and Avon, and after deep research, I went with Avon because of the products, uh, the product training, the products that I loved, and. Uh, the fact that we would, I mean, I had somebody to, to be there with me, Dawn, yourself, and our team, the, uh, our team that had, we had meetings every Saturday, um, any products that came out, we always knew um, everything about the product, we always got to experience the products first. That was also another thing for the what do you love about the products or the team kind of fell into that. Um, I just love that we get to experience it first. We get to put it out, put the word out to everyone how much we either love it or don't love it. Then you just don't talk about it. You just say you don't love it. <laughs> but the ones that we love, we're so, we can be so passionate about it because it, you get to actually experience it. Um, how it affected my life, it, uh, it affected it in a very positive way because it's not like it's, I always had the full-time job, but it's something I did for myself. Anything extra that I made with Avon, um, like, all the times um, from before, because I know I haven't done President's Club lately, but it's just I've had a lot of health issues. And honestly, Avon lately hasn't been um, something I could focus on like I used to. Um, so but that's all on me. Um, I don't share that part with them. But I do share the fact that when I did need to take a look to slow down or to take a break, Avon was always there when I was ready to just, you know, jump right back in the way that I could jump right back in. Um, and <clears throat> excuse me, I don't have Corona. Um, if I got to make this decision again, I would definitely um, pick Avon again because this literally I've grown as as a person, as a woman, as a, a mom, as a friend. I feel like Avon has actually helped me grow in so many different ways um, with my personality, with so many, I guess, different areas of my life. I literally would not if I got to if I was given this choice again I would not change anything about my decision to join Avon all those years ago I what was it 11 years ago that's a lot <laughs> I know there's more you have way more years on me but for me it just seems like a long time <laughs> right right you know and yeah. how could you how could you Melina change that tweak it a little bit depending on who you were talking to do you have well right there? go ahead I'm sorry no go ahead 
Um, well, it really depends on who I'm talking to. If I'm talking to a grandma, if I'm talking to a parent who's going through what well, what I'm going through right now, um, maybe somebody is working from home and homeschooling. Maybe somebody's like literally ripping their hair out. I'll be like, girl, me too, because uh, that's exactly what I'm doing too. But what can you do to help with you working from home? Well, you could, I mean, it would help because if you're working from home, you might have some extra five minutes or 10 minutes here and there to post an extra um, like a, a online post on either Facebook or Instagram or TikTok to put yourself out there. It doesn't have to be something big, but something to help you and somebody see you. Um, two, of course, right now with Corona and with the $600 that's gone from everyone that's not working for the unemployment. Also, that could help if they're not working um, to tweak it for them, like, okay, well, you might not have that extra unemployment $600 check, but you could sell mm -hmm. like 10 shampoos and make this much money off of that. So it's, mm -hmm. some, it really depends on who you're, I would be talking to and everybody would kind of have a similar approach for the first three parts, but then the end would be like, what are you doing it for though? Mm -hmm. Why did you even look at Avon? Like, you don't just go like, oh, cool. I'm just going to request information. Like, why did you do that though? How did you even find out about Avon? Mm -hmm. There's always like a why to them. And then I would just throw that back into my little speech. Right, right. Figure out their why and then kind of answer their need, right? That's good. Any any suggestions, any comments? Um, it did get a little bit long. Nope, sounded great. But yeah, but yeah, you, you just, you covered the, the realism fact of it, the passion for it, I felt that, and you gave them an offer at the end. Okay, who's next? I'll go next. Okay, go ahead. If that's okay. It's fine. Um, well, I started my journey 14. First, I usually ask them what brought them to Avon, and then I'll ask, you know, their story a little bit so that you kind of know what to feed off of. Right. Um, and then I just share my story of um, how I started my journey. And I just let everyone know, you know, I started 14 years ago. I worked a corporate position job, and there was a rep there was actually a um, Avon representative that used to service our office and she decided she wasn't going to sell anymore. So I thought I'll be the Avon rep. I'm here every day. I'll get a discount. I can make my coworkers happy. This is going to be perfect. So ended up just starting to get a discount and I made president's club the first year. So I was very excited about the achievements that I made. Little did I know that that decision of joining Avon was going to change my life in so many positive ways and also be the answer to a solution to something in my life. Three years later into becoming an Avon representative, I became pregnant with my second child. They're 15 and a half years apart. So when I looked into the cost of the daycare, it was double the amount it was 15 years prior. So I looked at my husband and said, I don't want somebody else to be with our kid. You know, I could actually take the amount of what I made per week and take and subtract the amount of daycare and then go ahead and make that goal be what I would achieve with my Avon business. And I made that happen. So I left my corporate job of 14 years to become a mommy entrepreneur. And that was my why. That's what drove me. So when you really have a goal or you have a passion with something because I already had passion to the product I now I'm getting a discount on and now I'm able to stay home with my child it really drove me to reach that goal and then sharing your story with others they wanted to support me so much and so strongly so you've got to get out there and share with people you know why you've joined and what your passion and your why is and that really does work because people want to support that they feel that passion um, and then of course, my plan was I was going to go back to my corporate position once he went to school. Who the heck wants to go back to a nine to five job when you've been your own boss and been able to be home with your child? So I decided to step up my game and thank goodness with Avon, you have that opportunity with leadership. So I got into the leadership and I was able to get the extra earnings with leadership. And now here I am, he's 10 years old and I'm doing leadership and the sales right from my own home. And there's so many other opportunities um, that you can grow with this business. So they usually are very ecstatic to about hearing that I was able to stay home with my child and that's where they share oh my gosh it's so exciting you know and then they, it's when they throw back their feedback automatically so I've never thought of asking questions because right. that does 
majority touch that, but it opens up that opportunity to them to realize that, wow, you know what, Avon could be an answer and everybody's why does change in your journey of your life. So mine originally started with a discount, then it turned into, I had this to fall back on to be able to be home with my little one. And I continued to fall back on it to be home to stay with him so that I could get into the leadership. So there's opportunities of growing in this business. And of course, the sky is the limit if you want to take it um, as far as you want to take it. Plus, I do then share with them that this has brought a lot of excitement and you know, my journey, I earned a cruise. I was able to go on a beautiful trip. That's how me and Dawn connected was through the uh, trip. Um, and so there was a lot of perks and bonuses. My confidence went up. Um, we have a great group of girls that we have in our team and outside of our team that we collaborate together. So you are joining Avon for yourself, but not by yourself. And then mm -hmm. let them know that, you know, it's just a, a great community of friendship. And um, they're just, you know, maybe joining for a hobby. Maybe they're joining just for that discount. Maybe they're joining because they need some friends. Um, so you've got so many different reasons. So just kind of really listening to what they have to say. Mm -hmm. then break down notes, you know, of course, at this time, just your listening ear. I've always taught my team, use your listening ear of your surroundings. Now it's use your listening eye because you're, you're more virtual right now. We're not out and about. We're more looking at Facebook. We're looking at what other people are doing. Um, so opening your eyes to what someone's saying, like, oh my goodness, I just got laid off of my job. Okay, boom. I can contact her and let her know, hey, you know what, I'm so sorry that you're going through what you're going to and then share the opportunity, the gift of Avon. Uh, so it's really just viewing what people out there need. You know, maybe they've got kids that are in sports. First off, I, earn, I give them the earning opportunity of joining Avon, but when they say, oh no, I can't put another thing on my plate. Okay, would well, you like a fundraiser? You know, so rolling it down to the fundraiser. There's so many perks and bonuses through Avon that we can offer gift-wise. Right. Um, so really just using that listening ear when I'm out and about and then the eye now, really it's turning into the eye and it seems like it's going to continue to be that way with everything. So that's kind of a roundabout of what I look at. That's um, good. That's then, good. I mean, you know, you gave lots of different situations there um, on how you would tweak it, right? Um, any other people hear anything they want to, you know, ask about or suggest? No? Okay. I you liked know, it. That, that's, a, that's the other thing. It. I like how you, you know, uh, brought out the ear and definitely I. Let me just tell you a situation that happened to me over the weekend when I was talking to someone that I never knew. We were texting. We weren't really talking, so we were texting. So you got to read through those texts, too, because sometimes they mean something different than what you're you're reading in it, right? So she was, uh, you know, I was giving her all the benefits of Avon and what she could work towards because she was like looking for the money issue, right? So mm -hmm. we were going back and forth with text. And then she said, uh, my mom wants to do it. I, first she said, my mom wants to place an order. I said, okay, you know, you can direct your mom to your online store. Well, then it happened to be that she told her mom about earning the $20 on a $200 order. So her mom signed up because her mom had a $200 order that she was going to place and she wanted $20 back from her <laughs> $200 order. Perfect. So this new recruit that just signed up over the weekend now has a team member of her mother. And if her mother places that $200 order, she places her $200 order. She's got $40 coming to her pocket from her mom's order as a bonus and her own $20 bonus. That's awesome. Yeah. So it's like, you know, and that was all in a text and it really caught me off guard. I was just like, Okay, well, my mom just signed up and I said, You're, was that what she wanted to do <laughs> or was it she clicked wrong, right? And that we had to fix a problem <laughs> is what Can I was looking Can we do a session at. on how we get people to do that? <laughs> well, right, you know, that would be nice. It, it, was, right? it was, it was strictly <laughs> by text. She had signed up with me she wasn't, she wasn't one of my removes. She was a new, new rep that Avon nested to me. Okay. 
Um, but we started out by just texting and I was asking her why, you know, that was one of my questions. Why did you choose Avon? And so she was telling me it was, a, you know, I really need money. I really need help with money. And so we were talking, I was talking about showing her the pathway to premiere in a picture form through text and showing her the flyer that we made up that shows $200 order, the free products, the $20 bonus. Um, and that's what all led to it. It was by just sharing with her. And then at the same time, which of course I didn't know, she was sharing this with her mother. And her mother was interested in making a, a rather large purchase. So her mother made the decision, I'm going to make a per, or, you know, sign up, make my own purchase on my own site and get the $20 back and the $10 credit, of course, for the second order. And then plus that, her 50, and plus that, her $50 in commission. And, and plus, yeah, the $50 in commission, but then I'm going to help my daughter because she's going to play, get her own $200 order and get double the bonus. So, you know, it was just and so there's the answer is sharing, like you yeah. said, it yeah. was her mother, she shared with her what those inside scooped bonuses are. And we don't normally when we get a new rep, they don't do that because it's like, I don't want to lose my customers. It's my income and my sale amount. So then I'm going to lose that. And then also, I don't want to tell them what I'm benefiting from this as a, you know, a leader right. or a rep, right. you know, I, they end up not sharing. So that's the answer is share. Let yeah. people know, you know, hey, that's why I love book parties. I love to do book parties because the fact that then you do a book party, you tally up their party, and then you go ahead and let them know, okay, let me break this down and tell you what you can make when you join Avon today for free. You're going to join for free, no cost yeah. to you, and you're going to get a 25% and 20% on your fashion and home. And then you're going to get this bonus because you just brought me a $300 party, yourself a $300 party, and now you're going to get this bonus. Let's lay it out. Really? And I don't have to pay to join? No, you don't have to pay to join. Plus, Christmas is around the corner. You can get a discount on your own Christmas shopping. And then your essentials. Look at all the essential products we have. We've got shampoo, conditioner, detergent. You yeah, got detergent? Yeah. You know, so letting them know is what really helps. So letting them know what those bonus and perks are and what we have to help benefit them with their everyday needs, like our Christmas Yeah, and, and this, and, and actually the daughter thought that the mom was placing her first order for her. But because the mom, she shared that information with her mom, her mom made a different decision and said, I'm going to sign up and I'm going to get a bonus too. So yeah. that's cool. You apparently got her excited about those bonuses. She was that's so excited. Cool. She shared them with her mother. So great job for you as a leader to get her excited. Then she duplicated that down to her mom. And then now her mom's excited. So they're just yeah. going to keep that trail going. It so was, it was. And, and. That's what it talks about in our stories, doesn't it? Create some yeah, excitement. Yeah. The excitement is that it was instigated immediately that her mom went ahead and got her own account. So I'd be interested to know how awesome. that pans out further down the road. Right. If mom then talks to her sister who says, wow, what a great idea. And then turns to her daughter-in-law and says, listen, honey, guess what's going to happen if you order from me or if you join? I mean, I'd be interested to see how far down the line that goes with the excitement that they built already mm -hmm. and that it continues from there. I'd like to. Yeah, I hope it does. Yeah. I mean, right now what we're working on is she's working on because she she doesn't have two hundred dollars to get her own order personally right mm -hmm. so she's working on her contacts right now to share her online store to go that route but you know i haven't talked to mom i don't know where mom's at with this so you know that was it was just yesterday so i couldn't even see mom on the computer yet to pull up mom and start texting mom so, you know, that's kind of my next step as well is, oh, I'm glad you joined Kimmy's team or whatever. And now this is where you can go to and, and let's see, you know, how far we can take that or if it, you know, she just gets her order and she's done, you know, we don't know. We just got to keep feeding them the information on where they can go and see where 
you know, without, you can lead a dog to water, but you can't make them drink, right? So, um, you know, yes. that's, that's and finding out, was she just doing that to support her daughter or was she doing that because she got really excited and then duplicating that excitement to someone else? She might've been yeah. doing it just to support her daughter. Right. So yeah. finding out those two facts. So, that's, so that's how awesome, much Dawn. from that sharing, you know, I don't usually, by text, share too much of my story. I usually just say my first text and I made them short little text instead of one long text. It's my first text is welcome to Avon and our Dawn's Dreamers team, sends. My next text has been, my name is Dawn, I'm your Avon advisor and I've loved Avon for 38 years, send. Right now they know about me the next text is, please tell me a little bit about yourself and why you got started with Avon. Third text, send. Now, if I don't get any response from those three, because you know that does happen, they go into witness protection and we don't know where they went. Uh, <laughs> I, the next text that does usually catch a few is I wait a day or two, and then I send a text to that same number. Do you get text at this number? Sometimes I can tell that they've deleted my text and they don't know who's asking them that because they will come back with, who is this? Oh, well, hi, this is Dawn with Avon. I'm glad that you're getting text. Boom, I just got the conversation going again. That's sneaky, Dawn, but I like it. It's sneaky. It's sneaky. But I like that too. You break it, it up. Eight out of the 10 times. I like you break it up and you don't give too much at once. It's kind of a punch, 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 and it's just, you know, gets them engaged. I love that. Do you call as well? Or do you just do I the do call first? after that second day or something if I don't hear from them. I'll call and, and then um, I think it was Michelle that gave me this suggestion on the calling to not tell him who I was. Right. I call, I say, hi, I was just calling because I wanted to make sure that you're going to get the packet I have in the mail for you. Click. <laughs> they think we're a solicitator. I know. It's like, you joined Avon. <laughs> And then yeah. I act like I'm going to say something and I click the phone off. Don't tell them who I am. Don't tell them anything and hope they're going to call back and say, who was it? Who's calling? That was, that was by a, a coach or a sales executive that suggested I do that. That's pretty sneaky too. Cool. It, it doesn't work as good as the, do you get text? I will have to say. Okay. Because people don't call back often. I don't. Right. Yeah. But they will yeah. respond to that text. But they, they'll respond to a text because they feel a little bit safer. Yeah. They feel a little bit safer with the text. I mean, we're kind mm -hmm. of going off of the stories now. But, uh, you know, it was that kind was of a good exciting. story, though. It was, it was a good story. How, how that, how my story started with them. And then because her need was money, I went right into the amount of money that there was on the table for her. Okay, because that's when she told me her why. Because they usually come back with, I've got this amount of kids, their ages are this. They love to tell you about themselves. So you just want to get that all in. And then I make all kinds of notes in my in my record keeping so that when we get back to them, I can refer back to those kids or refer back to that why. Because that's what it's all about is their why, because it's their need that we're trying to help. So, okay. Anyone else that hasn't done? Well, can I try it? Do it, Teresa. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, my real life situation uh, would be that um, I enjoy Avon. My Avon lady retired. She did so well selling Avon, she retired. And 
I have a passion for the product. My passion is I, I'm sorry, ladies. I like to be a walking model. <laughs> and being a walking model, I am wearing and showing everyone the Avon products. And they'll say, oh, that's cute. Where did you get that at? I got it from Avon. Do you like this? Girl, I didn't know Avon sold things like that. Yeah. And guess what? Because I'm a representative, I get it at a discount. You want to find out how? And then I go into finding out how. So is that a good start? Yes. Yes, it is. Because <laughs> you're getting their interest. Their interest is coming mm -hmm. back that they like the clothes or whatever you're wearing. Jewelry. Or the earrings. I usually okay. wear the earrings and the jewelry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You get them interested in the product and then you tell them you get them at a huge discount. I mean, that's a draw for a lot of people. That's a very good idea. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. That's what, I, that's what I would try. And my daughter is now interested in it because I've been getting a lot of packages from Avon and she's like, you know, I need a I need a summer job and I'm I'm trying to figure out how to get around to her to hey you can sell Avon for the summer and it could be your little income and there you go. You can get bonuses and you can get monies. She's got her store. They they're still her customer. She's got her store. It can last right through the school year, wherever she needs to go. Yeah. yeah. Online because kids. Yeah. Kids online is nothing to them, right? They just, right. that is, you know, they're common, ordinary, that's what we do, you know? Right. So you don't have to retrain the kids to do the online shopping. Right. That's and she's so good myself. at it. She's like, I'm, I'm telling her, I said, I have a store online and you can get a store online too. And she's like, a real store? I'm like, yes, yeah, an Avon store. And everybody can just go there and buy your product. And she's like, Really? And I say, it's really easy. You don't have to do a lot of work with it. I can do it and I'm an old lady, is what I tell her. <laughs> then surely you can do it. Well, you know, another thing to tell your daughter is maybe like, where are your friends buying mascara? Everybody's mm -hmm. buying mascara. Where are they buying it from? Right. And ask them, you know, how much are they paying for it? Because... Mm -hmm they could be buying it at her online store. You're right, and you're right. Yeah, so an, another okay. kind of angle to go with her is just to find out what her friends are currently purchasing and okay. what they could be getting from her. Okay, and so that means I'm not going to start. <laughs> what, I'm sorry? And so that means I'm off to a good start. You're on to a very good start. Yes, yes. yes. Thank you. Right. And and you you all saw her excitement in there. Just yeah. like the person she's giving it to sees her excitement and you know her joy of what she's yeah. doing, it shows all over. And people yeah. pick up on that. And okay. they want part of that joy. You know, yeah. when you're Thank when you. you're excited about what you're doing and, um, you know, things like that, you know, when someone sees a necklace that you're wearing and, oh, yes, I love it. You know, I got that from my business. Don't always have right. to tell them it's Avon. To say, okay. It's my business. And then let them come back. What's your business? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So got you. Drawing in the questions from them. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Right. And you understand too, then how you would adjust a different story to yes. whatever that person that you were talking to. If yes. The professional mom that's working full time that just loves to buy Avon or if mm -hmm. it's, you know, daughter, like you said, or uh, another, you know, another person mm -hmm. with the likes and dislikes. Okay. 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 Good job. Thanks. Jen, do you have a story for us? Yes, I do. Well, you've been so patient waiting till the end. Well, I I'm with a I was with a customer. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Well, bring them on the picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So <laughs> Roger kept on, you know, Jen. You really need to set up an 
you need to get into Avon. It'll help you and get you out of depression and everything. And I'm like, okay. So he came over, Roger came over and did the paperwork. And then my husband's like, I ain't paying for that. So I had to wait a while and then I signed up and Roger was so happy. He was waiting for that moment to come. And I am totally disabled. I do not get disability. I'm fighting them right now. Um, I needed something to help me. And plus I love doing makeup. And then when I get on the videos and do my videos, I love it because I can show how I do my makeup and everything. And the makeup is my favorite. Um, okay. Let's see. My see what um, Jen's not admitting? Husband was the only a... worker and uh, we have one vehicle, but we get around and I tell him I'm taking the vehicle to do my deliveries and get my books and I am in premiere the second time around. I worked my butt off to get that. Um, I have a lot of customers, but you know, you know how that goes. A lot of people can't afford anything right now, but um, I've come a long way and uh, I love Avon and it's just getting different for me right now but i'll get used to everything it's just um hard to remember numbers and different things that's coming out but i'll get there mm -hmm. but that's my story it all came to roger <laughs> and uh yep. he got me signed up okay well, okay so what jen what jen's leaving out what Jen's leaving out of this whole story was the two things that just dug their hooks into her for her to join. First one being, we had this great big almost $200 bundle that you get for like $55. Yeah. That was the first thing that caught her attention. The second part that caught her attention was Brian saying, I ain't paying for you to join Avon. And then when they got to it with a $10 sign up, Jen jumped on that so fast before I even finished my sentence. Those are the parts <laughs> that she's leaving out. Okay, yeah, so am. who wants to share with Jen how she can then use her story for someone else's interest? Well, the only suggestion I had was I actually have my customers come and pick up their orders now. So if you only have one vehicle, you could suggest that they can come and pick up and meet you in your own personal driveway to help you to make it a little bit more convenient so you don't have to go and deliver. Um, if you're home, I do like Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays are pickup day, and Tuesdays and Thursdays are my delivery day, so my customers know that. So then kind of strategize a way that's going to make it work a little better for you or easier for you. That's what I had to do because I'm home with a little guy every day. He's home, he re remote learning, and I can't leave the due day deliveries anymore. So I had to, you know, think outside the box, like Roger always says, <laughs> think outside that box and have them come to me. So if they're able, um, I give them a little gift. It's a thank you. So they get a little hand. Oh, yeah. I um, always give them something. Um, or I give them cards, thank you cards, or yeah. I I I I always do something like that. So yeah. I was actually surprised at how many people would rather come to the house. Yes, me too, they, as well. I'm yeah, they, they exactly. Wanna, they don't want they me going to their house because they don't know what kind of cooties I'm bringing with me. They'd rather come to my house because they know what cooties they have. <laughs> I, I don't want them inside. I really don't because I have the oh. little ones. But just the convenience. I mean, a lot of them will be like, I didn't even know you were right here. I pass you every day. You know, so just giving, throwing out that opportunity, you'd be surprised how many people uh, didn't realize. So it's just your, if you're comfortable with giving your own address out. And I will continue to meet people outside even once this is over. I'm not going to, you know, for a while, it's going to go that way for a while. Mm -hmm. um, yep. But yeah, it made it a lot easier and um, it, it's worked very well. And customers have said that I will continue to pick up here. So that has made it a lot easier for the future too, not just because of COVID. That's a great idea. I, I know what you're saying too. 
And I yeah, got to see, I've got a customer that lives two towns over. Okay. We alternate her orders. Okay. It sounds weird, but it is. We alternate her orders. Her first order, she came to my house to pick up. The second order, I delivered to her house. The order that's the, her order that's coming in tomorrow. She's coming here to pick it up. Next order, I'll be delivering it. We alternate. It's kind of weird how it worked that way, but that she, works she loves the Avon products. Plus, I saved her money on her order. So now I got my hooks dug in on that because she was going to order three of the... Uh, the bottles, uh, Skin So Soft, Soft Essential um, Body Lotion. Mm -hmm. That would have cost her like $18 or something. I told her, I said, you know, if you're going to do that, we have a great big bottle that's just one point something ounces less than what you're paying for these three at 18 and it's only $12.99. She jumped on that so fast. So then you know, that's, this, that's, that's part of, could be part of the story, right? Uh, pricing, yeah. um, the deals that you can, you know, point, you can show them how they can save money with their own purchases or with their, you know, the customer purchases that their customer that's going to buy from them. So, you know, relate that to the story on how that, when you find out that that person is about the product, then that's how you relate that story to cover those things about the product and how you can show them to share with their customers how they can save more money. So I'd like to also um, offer a, um, a suggestion on how to possibly build your teams. Um, if you were to tell one of your customers that uh, when you're delivering their order that if on your next order you bring me an order from your sister your mother your friend your neighbor your coworker, somebody that you know just one order i will knock 10 percent off of that order for you so that you'll have to deliver that order for your friend but i will knock 10 percent off of your order for you Mm -hmm. So that'll give them the idea, okay, I can get this order, then she turns that order in for you. When you take it back to her, just say, now let me show you how much money I made off of your order and her order. And then just so this could be yours. Are you interested in maybe signing up? It's still for free. Sign up. And the next time she orders in your friend's order, then you'll get this money, not me. You will get this. And then that'll be an opportunity to bring somebody new in. Yeah. Well, I, I've actually done that too, Flo, where I've had one person that I was trying to, that was talking about joining, but wasn't sure. They placed an almost $200 order with me. I said, let me show you something real quick. Um, well, this, she ended up signing up, but now she dropped off for inactivity. But I said, let me show you something real quick. I said, your order and this is back when the person second camp as long as you know they get the 40 percent right away before the uh this is before the uh premiere okay um i said look at this i said here's your order that you just gave me and i did math right there in front of her i said look at how much you would have saved on that order if you were to join avon right now and place that order that would be your price you joined right on the spot yeah, I but later on she dropped off the team. With my customer that she's been um she's been like a two hundred dollar order every campaign since I've been doing it with her, mm -hmm. uh, which has only been a few campaigns, but it's still and I've talked to her a couple of times, but she's an elderly lady in her upper seventies. And I told her I said it's never too late to start, even if it's only your own order. You got a two hundred dollar order every campaign. This is good. So I tried to explain that to her. Her granddaughter was interested and I was telling her, you know, at, at your 25%, you'd be saving yourself $50 every time you put a $200 order in. Yeah. Said, I mean, it's just that easy. And so her granddaughter wants to do it eventually, but um, she, she didn't want to do it, she, but she, she thought about it. But right there, she's ordering $200 every time. Why not make it $150? Save yourself the $50. Yeah. Right, Easy. right. So let's go back to the workbook and kind of pull this back into the powerful story. Okay, so um, on page 92 or the first page of whatever your section is on tell a powerful story, 
uh, this quote here at the top is, once you are armed with great stories, your business will boom because you can touch contacts on multiple levels at once, engage them quickly, and help them persuade themselves to join your cause. Okay, and we talked about lots of ways with that, right? So there's lots of different ways that that can work for you. Now jumping over to the next page where it talks about exploration and integration. Um, it talks about your story today. Imagine you are speaking with a friend and they ask, what do you do and why do you do it? Okay. So think about that in creating your story. What do you do and why do you do it? Okay, so what would your answer be to them if someone approached you like that? I actually did that exercise. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I wrote, I am an Avon representative. I sell Avon because I absolutely love the products. They work so well for me. And I want everyone I know to have a chance to love the products that they use too. I believe Avon can do this for them just like Avon does this for me. Okay. So they have products that I absolutely love. I'll stand by it. Um, I'll put their product up against it because I love it so much. And why not invite other people to love the product just like I do? Right. And that's a good way to put it. But taking it a little bit different turn is not mentioning Avon in there at the very beginning. Right. Okay. Well, it says, I what do, do you do? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, do, I have my own direct sales business. Oh. And I love the products that I sell. Mm. And they do this and this and this for me. Okay. So mm -hmm. then they're going to come back with, well, what, what business is it? And they want to know more. We always want them to want to know more. Yeah. And that's true too, because I've, I've talked to many people. As soon as I say Avon, they're, they're done. They don't want to know. Exactly. But if yeah. you said I have my, my own. My grandmother business. uses that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> if I have my own business. Well, I'll get people to say, is Avon still around? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And you know what the response you say to that, right? It'll be around long time. Yeah, but it's not yes, Grandma's it Avon anymore. No, it's not. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Because that's exactly what they're picturing in their mind. Your grandmother would many... never. Your grandmother would never use the products Avon carries now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Right. So you want to point that out to them that we're not that company that started in 1886 with fragrance <laughs> what I've got over my all of you uses it more now <laughs> yeah exactly what, I've got, what, I've got loves the LG. when a customer asks me well why are you selling avon or they're like i say well because plain and simple hi i'm the avon man yeah yeah you got <laughs> okay. an image there because there's I got, I, many men in avon Exactly, because there's not very men in Avon, and I'm the only male in the Quad City area that sells it. So, well, you know, that's what that's what helps me quite a bit. Okay, so let's uh, switch over to the next page, and it talks about discover your powerful story, and it kind of reviews if you all read this already. Step one is to revisit the beginning, the day you signed. How what what did you think about the business? Step two, pinpoint your why, okay? So you're, you're sharing your own why because you want to get their why out of there. Um, step three, acknowledge unexpected surprises. Benefits may include a renewed energy, a sense of purpose, all that. Write down your anticipated, unanticipated benefit you have experienced along your journey, okay? So you're building as we go, savor your results. What are you able to enjoy today? And a lot of you did share that in your stories. Step number five is to put it all together. 
Um, while it may be, seem impossible, your goal is to bring the highlights of your thoughts together into a story that takes between one and two minutes to share. One of the biggest mistakes a direct selling professional can make is spending more time on their own story, their own vision, their own dreams, their own hopes. And by keeping your story brief, compelling and heartfelt, you will engage your prospect and elevate their interest in learning more about the business. They want more, okay? So then the next page, it goes on to, to keep your story brief and engaging, choose the most compelling heartfelt why, your most surprising and value adventure on your way to fulfilling that why, how did you fulfill that why that you, that you had yourself and your result, okay? So again, it's more keep it simple, stupid. That's what that, <laughs> you know, the kiss, keep it simple, stupid, okay? So by keeping it simple, you may not be giving them all of the benefits, but be deterring what? person you're talking to, you've got to figure out in your head fast, like it's got to be ready to pop out immediately, how you're going to tell them that story that's going to entice them. That's the key, right? We're enticing the person that we're talking to. Well, that's exactly it, because you don't know if you're talking to a single parent who's looking for a little um, money on the side so that she can stay home and wants to build her business bigger. And, and then a simple adjustment is to just tell them why you got started and how much income you are experiencing, because that's what she's looking for is what the income is going to look like. For somebody like me, I mean, I'm, I'm like this close to personal retirement if I was working in a company. I'm, I'm in mm -hmm. my 60s. So if I were to approach somebody my age or older, I mean, I can just tell them it's a little bit of blow money. I mean, you go to the boats. And I don't know any older people that don't, you know, that good, they don't go to the boats. They just want to blow some money and have the, themselves a good time or go out to lunch. You know, wouldn't you like to just up and go out to lunch or even take trips? My husband and I, that's my goal. My personal goal, my biggest why right now is that my, when my husband retires, we want to go and do some trips. We're going to go take some trips. Mm -hmm. uh, so I want that extra income to be rolling in so that we can go and spend some money and do some trips. Well, so, listen, when I was doing this project and I wrote down some parts of my story, kind of relates to what Flo was talking about. I'm, you know, getting up there in age. Avon's keeping me looking so young, but anyway, <laughs> when I started Avon 38 years ago, it was to get me out of the house. My husband would come home from work and then I went out to be an individual and as an entrepreneur. My goal is I want to be able to talk to other adults and I want to be able to um, where I, I lost my thought. Anyway, I wanted to be able to create an income after I retire. Okay, so maybe if you're talking to someone that's in their 60s, that they just they love Avon, but their story on why they're starting may be totally different. You know, I want that income from my team and everything to help me with my retirement. And they might want something like that too. So think about those type of individuals that you talk to, um, you know, cause there's some residual income that is possible. And, and one thing I also, one else thing else I'd like to say too, uh -huh. And people actually give me a double take because they have to think about it in a minute. And it's kind of funny because I love the looks of their faces. Um, I, I would tell people, you know what? I don't love Avon products because I sell Avon. I sell Avon because I love Avon's products. Mm -hmm. And they do a double take mm -hmm. on that. 
because they're like, wait a minute, you know, because people think that when you're in a direct selling company, you automatically love the products because you sell them. Mm-hmm. Well, when I joined Avon, I already loved the products. I joined Avon so I could sell them and get a discount. Mm-hmm. People got to think about that. Yeah. And what I love with Dawn, with your story, I mean, you've been selling for so long. When you share that, it shows obviously how much you love the product and the company because you've been with it as long as you have. And you originated because of your husband's mother. You know, it, like you already had the right. background yeah, passion that's of another the story. And, yeah. I started because I wanted to get in good with my mother-in-law because she sold. And (laughs) yeah, I love it. You know, that that's part of another part of my story too, that, you know, people are like, whoa, you know, but I also, and those of you that have been around for longer too, (laughs) I also put into that little text I send people that I have loved sharing Avon for 38 years. Yeah, I what love that, that part. What does that tell them right there? Mm-hmm. That tells them that they've got a dedicated advisor, Avon advisor yes. that they're signing up with. So, I mean, you can put in no matter how many years you've been with Avon, even if it's 10, five, whatever it is, that's still showing dedication. And they, they like to see that. So, Absolutely. so I was told a long time ago, by a coach, Dawn, you need to share that. You need to share your years of Avon because that means a lot to somebody when they hear that. So, so what did your mother-in-law out. say to you that got you going? Because I'm, I'm taking notes here because I have a daughter-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> well, I she's going to want to get good with you. That was the whole punt. <laughs> I wanted to get good with her mother-in-law. <laughs> I tried that, but she's a nurse and she's extremely busy. So yeah, it's like, yeah. okay, tell your friends I sell Avon. Would you please take some books with you to work? <laughs> yeah, right. I, I, of of that. Right. I would even so put it in for her. I'd put her order in for her. <laughs> well, okay, here well, is a bucket full of nurse. hand sanitizer. Yeah, <laughs> I do yeah, that. Right. So take yeah, along to work. Nurse. Uh, I put them in the little bags and I send them to work. Yeah, I'm sorry, Roger. Go ahead. I say if your mother-in-law is a nurse, give her a face mask, give her some uh, silicone gloves, some hand cream, and some hand wash. They have a a lot of face masks there, but definitely the hand cream, maybe a little shampoo, shower gel, something like that, because... Just so you know, too, though, and some of you have nurses, because I know you do, Dawn, um... They, when my daughter-in-law is on the COVID ward, which she is very often on the COVID ward, and they're, they're easing her out because she's pregnant right now, but um, they have to shower. They have to change their clothes and shower and get in and out of their uniform because they can't go home with the cooties that they're in contact with. Not on those can't. clothes, yeah. She brings it home to her husband. My son doesn't want it. He's mm-hmm. already yeah. had it once. He doesn't want to do this again. He just doesn't. Mm -hmm. Um, but they've got a little guy, he's only three years old, so they don't, he doesn't want to do it. So yeah. And then with her, of course, being pregnant, they're easing her out of there, but with the buildup, they can't totally get her off the ward, but you're right. Shampoo, um, soaps, but they have to use everything that the hospital has there. She can't Mm -hmm. use her own stuff, Mm -hmm. but yeah, still, you know, it's a nice little gift. Get a little bag, a bunch of it. Yeah. Pass it out to all her friends. Yeah, yeah, I know my daughter that. said they've got 70 COVID patients right now, and the hospital is only 205 patients. So- we have three hospitals near us, and they are all on a shutdown. They, they're they called bypass. They send them to a different hospital. There are no hospitals available right now in our area. They're so packed. My daughter-in-law said they lost seven patients in one night last week. Mm-hmm. Like, holy crap. Yeah. 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 It's crazy. So that kind of uh, fills up um, our story about Mm -hmm. creating a story. (laughs) And so uh, we will um, next Monday night. This is going to be another good one, guys. You got to come back for this legacy leadership. Okay. Is our next lesson for next Monday night. And um, there is probably, let's see, one, two, wow, there's a a few pages of this. So lots of good information. 
This goes from page 98 to 105. So we will, we will cover that next time for those of you watching the replay and those of you with us, thank you for sharing your story. Um, did you like going through it a different way and not covering you know, all the pages in the book and that type of thing? If you read it before we meet, we can get down and dirty into it instead of covering it all, right? We can get down and dirty and get- I actually liked it going it this way. Okay. Yeah, so me we too. Will, we yeah, will I continue did too. this, that we read it in detail. I'll make just a few points and then we'll get right into how it's going to help you and what it can do for you. Okay. So we'll continue with that. So bye everyone that is watching the recording. And-